wanted to introduce Scala to the company. And we thought the best way to do this was to take a component that we had written. We wrote a message queue called Starling, which is open source, it's written Ruby. We thought we would take this and port it to, um, to Scala. And you can actually find it on GitHub right now. I wrote one of our engineers I wrote it. And the, the branch is the Bengal branch is called the Ruby Super Smart Tree Plan. It's a branch that's actually not a master right now. And so, um, how, so for the message tool, we found valuable. We have like a hierarchy function, like this is a big problem. And we have a lot of complex laundry. And as you might imagine, a, a message queue is generally like, might have complex laundry for doing a lot of stuff. And Kestrel itself is only about, I think, a thousand lines per total. And yet, every single week of Kestrel lines rocks off and we're having problems with it. And uh, here's another good example of where that might be valuable. So here we have a function, or part of the function, that would, if you have raw files in your directory, sort them by timestamp. That we have uh, sort of the name format of the file. The name format of the file is a Q name, then a timestamp, and then a dot. And so we have this function that says for all the files, and here we have a compactor to file object, and this is uh, basically a directory, and the list gives you all the files in that directory. And you notice here's some uh, features of the language where we can use kind of global type of terms, you also have uh, compatible functions, so we have functional compilers. If you take all the files, then you filter them.
set the rules for programs to put together automatically. So you put in a question for um, fact, these same programmers who use these concepts will kind of crack jokes about how hard one has might be, and they in fact use them, they just don't know what they're called. <laughs> Thank you. 
how much harder to make the GC straight. So I have to remind you, I think, last time, the actual continuity brought to the core of the GC.net guys, you know, the problems with the students of the department, so what are you talking about? The programming community is out so much truly above. There's no real program in this. So, like, how much do you have to change? So, I don't think it's actually a mismatch with the language. So, like, you know, how do you use the virtual machine? And it's so easy when you're working in a mutable style where copying is the, the standard to make tons and tons of copies of the same you know, objects over and over again without ever really realizing. So I think that the convenience generates garbage in a way that that makes sense. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's if you look at Haskell or Rokan or very few other ones like that, the GC is specifically doing it for lots and lots of cheap allocation of energy. Perhaps it is object orientation.